Today's project brings us to the Southport Inn. It's actually a pretty minor repair, but the prep is going to be a little involved. To better understand it, I think you need a little lesson on building. So today's modern houses are built. They put the foundation in, then they put the floor system on, the joists, then the floor. Then they build the walls on top of that. If you're going up two stories, they put another flooring system and then build the walls on top of that. Back in the days of 1894, they did what was called balloon construction. So what they did was actually build the wall from the bottom of the seal, which would be the top of the foundation. And if it was a two by four wall, it went all the way up to the roof. First floor, second floor, third floor, if that was the case. Uh, that was the way they did it back then. Uh, it's certainly more efficient and better fire ratings the way we do it now. But um, I say that because what's happening here is there is one two by four that we noticed that goes all the way down to the foundation that's rotted at the end. Now remember, this is an 1894 inn. Church bells are going off now. So um, some of that rot is weather. Some was probably uh, termites at one time in this building. Uh, there's no termites now, but anyhow, in the scheme of things, that rotted two by four probably does not affect the structural integrity at all, but I like to make things right, so I'm going to go down there and uh, fix it. I'm at the side of the inn right now. I'm pointing at the green board there. It's the entrance to the crawl space. Uh, let me step back here. Along the side here, that's where the board is. So I'll show you how I got to get in there. This is the entrance, and again, it's basically going back 100 and... 20 some years but I gotta crawl through there and all the way around uh, to underneath the kitchen so certainly the key to this is taking everything I need in with me I think I got a bag of goodies that I got to drag through I have everything I need in there you see I got a whole coverall thing going I'm gonna put my respirator on I got a light to put on my top of my head uh, so I'm gonna do the hard part crawling in there and the fix will be relatively easy I'll see if I could get that on video Yeah, let me see if I can get some light on this. I got my mask off here and I got some lights, but See that's rotted out. That's the board I brought It's basically a 4x4 four four, and I'm gonna cut it right there because that's good above it and jam that in there and we're good to go what I want you to notice here you see that brick pier right here I'm gonna put my foot on it so originally this house was built on piers that's how they did it back there there's one in the corner and then over time you could see prior they still had that uh, fencing in between and at some point in its 120 some year history they blocked it all up and sealed the crawl space anyhow let me get at it as you can see I use my favorite tool I told you guys before this was it but anyhow there it is cut the 2 by 4 and that's actually an original 2 by 4 when it was 2 inches by 4 inches and now I put a 4 by 4 uh, underneath it so that's as sturdy as it's gonna be it's sturdier than it was certainly so, another project done. Again, the prep was worse than the um, actual fix. Uh, I'm Mark. I am the average homeowner. Till the next time.